Okay, so last week we touched on a shallow screw, and another application for this is for a shallow stinger kit. So what we have here is we've got a shallow stinger kit on this shad. Um, I bought this, I think it came in a pack of two, it's about £13 or so. And the reason why it's called shallow is because there's no weight on the end, there's nothing that's bringing the shad or making the shad dive. It swims in a more natural horizontal manner when it's in the water. So quite clearly this one is too large for this shad. So we're going to make our own. What we need then is we need a shallow screw, we need a swivel, we need some wire, split rings, split ring pliers and also wire cutters and the shad itself. So to save a bit of time, I've tied all this together already. Um, we've got the shallow screw attached to a split ring, attached to a swivel, attached to the split ring with a perfection loop on the end here. Um, on the other end, we've got a perfection loop attaching to a split ring and then a treble hook. So to attach these, really simple, put it into the front here like this and just push that all the way down or twist it all the way down. And the reason why we're putting it all the way into this one is because you want there to be a longer anchor into this one. Otherwise, if this shallow screw comes away from the shad, your shad's going to end up in the bottom of the body of water wherever you're fishing. So you can, of course, also add in, depending upon the length of your, um, your shad, you can add in another hook. However, I don't think that's necessary most of the time, especially for a shad this size. So we're just going to leave it with just the one. So there you go, you can see shallow stinger kit, which is perfect for fishing any environment. Um, it's quick and simple and easy to do. Um, if you catch a fish, this part's going to detach. And then you're going to be left playing a fish without the weight of the shad um, potentially being used to pull the hook out.